Republican candidate for Kentucky governor says she will dismantle the State Department of Education if she's elected. Kelly Kraft now faces a slew of questions after a recording posted by a Democratic Party super PAC. But then she doubled down on the pledge. WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez talked with Kraft's campaign today. And Isaiah, despite the uh, leaked audio, she's sticking with this. Would she even have the power to do this if elected? Well, Doug, according to the Kentucky Department of Education itself, no. KDE tells us under statute they do not fall under the direct power of the governor's office, but there's no doubt the governor can have influence on state education leaders. A spokesperson for Kraft's campaign declined an interview today, but did share their side. As education quickly becomes one of the early talking points in the race for Kentucky governor, Kelly Kraft is already under the microscope. In a statement, Kraft says the multi-part recording, totaling under 30 seconds, was from an open press event. Today, a campaign spokesperson revealed words he says were said after the applause, including Kraft saying, quote, We must revamp this entire department, and when I'm governor and I appoint the people to the state school board, I want those individuals to be Senate confirmed, end quote. Kraft is now doubling down telling us, quote, no one can hide that our current State Board of Education and Department of Education are a mess, pushing woke agendas in our schools. I'll dismantle our current board and start over. I think everybody was caught off guard because I don't know that the candidate has talked about this up until this point. We talked to former JCPS board member Sam Corbett, an expert on education policies on a state and local level. And I guess the first thought I had was I'm not sure the governor has the authority on his her or her own to take that action. So I would think it would have to be a legislative action. So therefore, would a governor craft be able to work with the leadership of the House and the Senate to make that change? However, for context, Kentucky's governor does have the power to appoint 11 of 15 people on the state's Board of Education, which oversees the entire public school system. In fact, Governor Andy Bashir made sweeping changes when he first came into office back in 2019. So the reality is I don't think you can separate the politics from the world of elementary and secondary education. And also, when Governor Bashir overhauled the State Board of Education back in 2019, he did so through executive order. State law now says the governor can't push them through on their own without Senate confirmation. Doug.